Welcome everyone, this is Abdul Rahman Sadiq, aka Pakistani Pepper, and today I'm doing a review for Odd Sparks. Hope you enjoyed. So let's start with our learning target, which is I can decide whether or not Odd Sparks is a game for me. So before we do that, I sort of want you to wonder what do you look for when you're playing a cozy game? So Odd Sparks, in my opinion, has two glows two grows and just two questions that i had for anyone whether a fan or a person from the dev team let's begin so the first glow is this really nice mix of the nature and future design there's a mix of tech and nature that is genuinely beautiful to see in this game the elements they look like they wouldn't work together but they do when speaking to another dev online i actually mentioned that um it reminds me of the golden age of Pokemon. That's how well this technology and this really peaceful image of nature work well together. I also said that there is a strong sense of achievement in this game. The systems and the tools that you use to build your factories eventually all make sense. So as a result, it always feels accessible. You don't feel like the system is clunky. You feel like you make the changes as you go, and it's your own imagination that's going to decide whether your systems work or not. But notice how I said eventually they make sense. And part of that is because the interface, I feel, could benefit from being a little cozy friendly. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a lot of keys and a lot of tasks. There's no singular way in which you can easily access all the tasks because they require a variety of inputs. So I think of it like this, this could never be a game on the Game Boy Advance because there are so many buttons that do everything and you sort of need to just remember what they do. If there was a joint interface where you could just quickly see across broad categories what can be done at any given time, it might be a little bit easier to not have to fuddle with a bunch of keys on your keyboard or controller. Um, the second thing is the systems also do evolve very quickly. So and for a second, it can feel kind of overwhelming to try and figure out what you're supposed to do next. But I do want to note that that's not mandatory. And I was moving through the game at a faster pace than perhaps I needed to. Nobody forces you to move through a quick pace. There's no time uh, constraint. So it almost makes me wonder that could this game improve if there was a uh, pacing that was controlled? Think of how Pokemon is introduced, which I keep going back to because I think this game is sort of like in many ways in that reference of the Pokemon Pikmin style where you're working with small creatures. Um, but think of like how in Pokemon, when you first find something, you stay with it for 15, 20 minutes, one small mission, and then you get the next mechanic. And then you have to stay with that for 15, 20 minutes, then you get the next mechanic. Inside this, a lot of the mechanics just start getting thrown at you. And that, for some people, is perfectly fine. They like to work through it. But for me, I felt like it could have helped if the pacing was more controlled by the dev rather than just leaving it all to me. And finally, um, the guided exploration. I wonder if there were clear markers for where you need to go during something. Could that improve the experience? This is, I know, a divisive point. I know all about the Elder Scrolls Morrowind versus Skyrim debates. I've fought in those debates. So... I get what they're saying, but for example, when I was trying to find a bee elephant in this game, um, I couldn't find it because all it said was they're near birch trees, but I didn't know where birch trees were. And perhaps I missed a marker, but um, I couldn't find it on the minimap. So I had to search around for it. And when I'm trying to play a cozy game just for 15, 20 minutes sitting on the deck, um, on the Steam Deck, I don't want to wait around and find something. I kind of just want to find it and move to the next um, building exercise. So that's basically it. Between the nature of future design and the strong sense of achievement, that's where I think this game shines. I think it can improve in making its systems a little more accessible and making the evolution of those systems a little more sustained in terms of pace. Um, I do wonder if controlled pacing could help address that and if guided exploration could help um, uh, could help the experience. So what do you think? Is this the game for you? Um, if you have any comments, I would love to hear them. I hope you find this helpful. 
and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper, saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, everyone.